So here's FileZilla right here. So you're going to want to go up to uh, Edit. Straight up in there, Edit. Go down to Settings. And then inside here, it's going to pop this up. You want to go to FTP. Put this to Active. Not Passive. And then Active Mode. Um, I don't think you do anything in there. Passive mode, nothing in there, nothing in there. Transfers. Maximum simultaneous transfers. Put that to four. Like I said, you're going to have four connections going at one time. And then file types. Change that over to binary. So file types to binary. And I believe that's all you're going to have to do in here. And then when you want to connect to an Xbox, you just click this little guy right there. So you click on that, and it's going to bring this up. It'll remember what you put in the last time you connected. So the last Xbox I connected to was 192.168.11.45. And if you go and look at my settings in here, let's see. Oops. Oops. Um, change adapter setting status. So you can see right here, my computer address is 192.168.11.54, and my router is 192.168.11.1. So my router in my house right there is that, and my computer is 54. And then the compute the Xbox I'm connecting to is a 45, and I gave that automatically with the DHCP. So then you just type in username of Xbox, password of Xbox, and sometimes people say it matters. Port is 21. I usually leave it empty. It doesn't usually matter. And then connect. And on this side, it'll come up for your Xbox. And then you just go over here, figure out what you want to transfer. So I go here, oops, wrong folder, that was a DVD drive. So I go here, oh, no, it is this one, uh -huh. and then Xbox, games, or two terabyte backup, you know, homebrew, and then bam, you have all your homebrew, and you transfer it over there. It's pretty quick and easy. And those those settings work great for me and it transfers four time with no problems so give that a try and let me know man